coronation street. As 1984 dawns in the street, Rita Fairclough is having to come to terms with the fact that Len died in a car crash on his way home after seeing another woman. The Tilsley family are praying for Bert's recovery from a mental breakdown following his accident at Brian's garage. And Sharon Gaskell's arrival on the scene following Len's death has caused a couple of heads to turn. For Curly Watts, it's love at first sight, but for Terry Duckworth, just another challenge to be taken up. For Elsie Tanner, fond memories of the past are rekindled when old flame Bill Gregory returns from Portugal. It's a flying visit because he has to go back. But the question is, will he go alone? So, Elsie left the street for the last time. Her daughter Linda came back to look after the house until it was sold to Bill Webster. And he moved in with his son Kevin and daughter Debbie. He also took over Len's old yard to carry on his business. Stan did sue the council over his injured toe and collected £200 compensation. Billy Walker came back from Jersey to run the Rovers on Annie's behalf, but he left more than a few problems behind him, and he's been warned that his creditors are after him. There's been tragedy in the lives of the Tilsleys and the Barlows. Bert died in hospital, and Albert Tatlock died at his daughter Beatty's. But while the real games are taking place in Los Angeles, the street residents are facing up to an equally exciting challenge from a rival pub, the Coronation Street Olympics. The Street Olympics was followed by a talent show in the evening to round off the day. For Billy, the threat from his creditors was a serious matter. He had to go to Annie to ask her for the loan of £6,000 to pay off his debts. On his return, he announced to the staff that he was taking over the Rovers. But the big talking point in the street is the forthcoming marriage between Derek Wilton and Mavis Riley, with Mavis's other persistent suitor, Victor, finally conceding defeat. It was some time before Mavis could face anybody. And when she found out that Derek hadn't turned up either, she was furious. Eventually she came round, but she hadn't heard the last of Derek Wilton. Jack Duckworth was breathalyzed and lost his taxi driving job. He ended up selling shirts on the market with Fred G. The arrival of Percy's niece Elaine has had quite an effect on one resident, Bill Webster. And another new face appeared in the Rovers when Betty took in a lodger, Police Sergeant Tony Cunliffe. But right now, all thoughts are with Hilda as she prepares for the funeral of her beloved Stan whose death in hospital has stunned the street. To everyone's surprise, she seems to be bearing up remarkably well. Surrounded by her friends, Hilda gradually adjusted to life without Stan. His window cleaning round was taken over by Jack Duckworth. Bill Webster's romance with Elaine blossomed and the couple moved away to start a new life in Southampton taking Kevin's sister Debbie with them. Kevin moved in with Emily and Curly. But Tony Cunliffe's pursuit of Rita turned out to be all in vain. Well, with this video, you've been able to relive some of the major events that happened in Coronation Street during 1984. Why not enjoy more highlights from the program's first 30 years by adding to your Coronation Street video collection? <laughs> Take another nostalgic trip down the world's most famous street. Bye for now.